Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen 9 included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in the rock full of brains, an asteroid colony on an upside down asteroid. We've got lava at the top stopping me escaping to space and we are living down at the very bottom because it is the nicest, if a little cold, area. We've been surviving for about 100, uh, 100 cycles now. We've got ourselves a food supply and we've started upgrading our toilets. But looking at the toilets, there's not much water in in the pipe so we want to make sure that there is enough here to be able to feed a full renovation of the toilet so I'm going to renovate this little area over here to include something that's going to enable us to store a little bit more water uh, if I come into the base tab down the bottom here there is a liquid reservoir I'm going to attempt to insert that into this loop here uh, uh, maybe yeah, on the, very much on the outside of the toilet, so that it's not infecting the room bonuses that we get. It's about time that we cleaned up starvation. No, 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 we're, we're done with the starvation. It's about time we cleaned up this area. The uh, atmosphere here is full of polluted oxygen. We can do better. Another thing that we can do better at, at the moment, we are using oxygen diffusers, uh, stripping the oxygen out of algae to provide oxygen for our base. That's not going so well right now. We do have an oxygen vent over here that is going quite well, uh, but that's not... Um transferring out here and also it's gone dormant we need a backup and i think that backup is going to be a small oxygenation system over here but for us to be able to do that that's right i've not even got the research going here is the air systems with the electrolyzer and that enables us to turn water into oxygen and hydrogen two things that are very very useful Whilst we're going around performing some upgrades, I'm going to come into the food tab here. We've got access to the electric grill. This would enable us to start frying up some of the meat that we've been getting access to. I don't actually believe we have turned over any of the hatches into meat yet. Oh, look, we've got a, a new stone hatchling from the uh, from the overflow. That's, that's interesting. But with this grill, we should be able to turn when the meat finally starts being produced uh, into barbecue. Some of the best food in the game. How are the bathroom renovations going on? They're coming along quite nicely at the moment. Let's try and break all of this. Uh, if we look behind, there, is, there are wires, so we're going to have to try and deal with that. In fact, in fact, do we want to run the wires? No, I like, I'm, I've got this thing about keeping them all covered at the moment, so let, let's do that. Ooh, germy water flows. This is bad. This is very bad. Uh, I did a destruct all and there was a pipe running through there. We have dropped a lot of germy water into here. Thankfully, uh, germs, particularly over here, food poisoning, die in uh, normal water. But uh, that's a, a thousand germs at a half-life, 20 cycles. That's, that's going to take quite a few uh, cycles before it gets down to negligible amounts. Uh, and it's right underneath the pump. I think I'm going to disable that pump for the moment. That could definitely have gone better, but it could much, very much have gone worse. Okay, with the plumbing upgrade in place, it should now be time to start talking about ripping down these outhouses. Do we need to keep one up for people's toileting in the mornings? I don't think anybody's come along to use it. Uh, bladder isn't full. All right, I'm just, I'm just going to deconstruct the whole lot. Curie doing a top job going around and ripping everything down. This should mean that sanitation is going to be ours. I am going to leave this composter here. Uh, the main reason being that we still got some polluted dirt on the floor that is just full of germs and stuff. This, this guy here, let's have a look in the germs. Yeah, that's 2.4 million. That's a lot. That's a lot of germs. Okay, that's two toilets in and plumb. This one's just waiting for a few more bits of pipe to go in. I'm also going to start knocking down these sinks one by one to replace them with, what, well, wash basins to replace them with the sinks uh, so we can be fully hygienic. Okay, that's our electrolyzer research come in. That's great. So what I'm going to do, talking about that, is I'm going to grab a pump here and I'm going to throw down four of them at the bottom here. Uh, I am going to grab a mesh tile. I suppose I could use an airflow tile, but I'm just going to go at mesh tile, leave a gap, leave a gap. Uh, something like this. A couple of solid tiles in the middle there as well. Uh, I would then like an electrolyzer on this side, electrolyzer on that side, a pump in the middle. This is quite a well-known design for a way of separating your gases so we're going to pump water into these two electrolyzers on either side uh, and hydrogen is going to bubble upwards and oxygen is going to bubble downwards uh, as the oxygen will be much heavier than the hydrogen uh, we're going to use a couple of doors here to be able to oh we can't place that door must be must need to go and dig that out sleep wheat back there 
Hmm, okay. And this is going to be our oxygen production system. To begin with, it's going to be warming up the area around it, but we also have an anti-entropy thermal nullifier here, just in case we need one. Uh, then I'm going to grab this granite across the top like this. Beautiful. Let's, uh, let's make a little access way and get some people to come along and dig this all out. Oh, my newly installed grill is telling me no one is good enough at the cooking. Do we do we not have someone who likes to cook? I don't I don't think we do actually. Hmm, who should we nominate? I mean, first off, I think we should give Rutherford all his points because man, he is he is loving life and he can definitely take on the extra. Uh, is it going to be Plank? Is it actually going to be Plank? He can't. He can't do it. Okay, is it going to be Franklin? No, she's busy creating all the power. Oh, we need to save her from the eternal torment that is the hamster wheel. Uh, Curie has other things to do. It looks like it's going to have to be Boar. He's got grilling, so uh, let's. He, he's doing the cooking anyway, so this should be fine. So one of the things I'm worried about with digging around this way, we're going to have to replace this tile. Uh, we, this weaselwort's going to be turned into a seed. Is it going to become like less viable as it gets laid, laid around? Do I have to put it into a farm tile to keep it alive just to keep it viable until I need it? Does, like, is that now water cost on me just because I wanted to dig this way? I'm, I'm worried about this. Sorry, phosphite costs. Okay, it's not water, but that's still still a thing. Okay, so it, it's going to get built over. Can, can we have a look at it before it goes? Okay, no, nothing about any viability here. All right, I'll take that. Okay, with a small bit of last-minute persuasion, the toilet upgrades are now complete. Aside from moving this composter out at some point where we'll replace it with a shower, I think. Yeah, I think that's a, a good idea. And we've started, started to dig down here. We've got a little bit of ice uncovering a carbon dioxide tunnel. But there's, there's more back here. I'm really tempted to go take a slick egg hostage or two. Drop it through the system. Which way? It will come out this way. Build a little container and uh, make a make a coal generator place or a, a wood burner. In fact, I don't have any wood, but I am making lots of coal off of these. Wow, lots is a bit subjective there, but I am making coal off of these guys. Oh man, we're, we are out of algae. This suddenly makes this whole thing much more important. Oh, there it is being uncovered. Hopefully by the end of this first day, we'll have most of this infrastructure in place. It's going to be tough on these guys working this hard and uh, the, the base will not be turning over so the power will run out on the water sieve. Uh, this one's already run out of power. These guys are just about to die. But we, uh, we, we do, need, uh, do need this oxygen supply. We are going to have to try and find some power for it as well. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, that was downtime. Not quite all of it, but we are very, very close. You've got people who are coming in to mop up the floor here. Hopefully to take part in some of the other building as well. We can get this actually done by the uh, time they go to bed. Uh, hopefully without too many negative consequences. Okay, no, they're all, they're all going to bed now. All right, fair enough. Oh, look, 800 germs, not 900. Yeah, it's definitely dying. Oh, it's a grand day. The wool pot is 11 degrees. That means we can plant a plant here. Wow, okay, that's cool. This is 5 degrees there, 7 degrees there. Still uh, still can't put them in the bedroom. No, no, but we, we could get one here. That That's great. Is anybody going to get to this? Not for a while. Let's, let's just make that happen quickly, shall we? Beautiful. Oh, no, 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 yes, yes, is, is it alive? I think it's alive. I think, I think we're going to be able to keep it alive. Okay, there was a bit of a gas pressure problem there for a moment, but I think we're good. Poor little guy, doing his best. Uh, we got we got a plus decor right on this tile, that's good. But over here, oh, even over here, it's kind of nice. Okay, if we could get rid of some more of this debris, I'm sure that would help. Whilst the duplicate snooze on, I've got a little bit of a quandary here. I need to take some water out for the oxygen, and I'm obviously going to be taking it after the de-germification de process. But there's two ways I could do this. I could either just join that pipe straight up to the output, and then it will send one one way and one the other and keep alternating back and forth like that uh, thus sharing out the water between the oxygen and the uh the, the potable water here let's say the stuff that we're going to use for foodings and stuff like that or i could put a bridge on and jump that over and then take priority with the water for the oxygen because oxygen is very very important i, th I think i might do that one yeah let's do that one let's do that one so to do that i'm gonna grab myself a liquid bridge here press b to copy it spin the button spin the thing around a couple of times with o and bam there we go just just like that hopefully it will share out beyond once this totally fills up there's no hopefully i know that's what's going to happen when it totally fills up 
We spent a whole day with the alarm on trying to clear out all of the debris from inside the uh, the, the gas production facility here. That's uh, kind of worked, but not gone. Oh, you guys coming out here now? That's uh, that's great, but that's not entirely what I want. Uh, we've done almost all of the debris, but we've still got some ice and we've still got some water. Now the water, nice and easy to move down to here. So I'll just click water on that. Beautiful. Maybe sweep only. I think that's probably a very advisable thing to turn on. And then over here we also have the polluted water. Water. I don't think that's one we're going to be moving at all. Uh, what I actually meant to bring... Where, where's the dispenser? I'm sure we had a dispenser somewhere. Here it is. Sorry, I found it completely the wrong place. Uh, let's... Um get them panicking shall we yeah let's see if we can't clear up these last few bits there's a few bits in the chlorine room here that people are going to come along and try and get rid of three tons in that particular pile might take a little while to move that out in fact so much that downtime got called before we managed to clear it all not, not the end of the world there's always tomorrow oh new principle let's have a look lime I, I will take all the lime thank you very much I thought I was done talking about the toilets, but no. Over here, we've got a negative decor right here. This is where we're getting the negative decor. I'm really not about that. And the thing that is giving it the biggest component to, well, apart from the three toilets themselves, which turns out it's a bit of an issue, is the debris. So I'm going to build another co composter over here so that we can start getting through this polluted dirt as quick as possible. As you can see, it's part of the outgassing crew that we've got around here, and I want to get rid of all of that. Okay, as soon as it's down, Rutherford is on it, moving some polluted dirt from the middle of nowhere. Okay, I mean, I suppose that's fine. I kind of would have preferred any of this lot, though. There we go. All right, now he's moving it from there. That's good. That's good. And some dirt has just fallen out. Does that mean this is ready for more? Maybe. Maybe. Or not. No errands. Okay. <laughs> One of the horrendous side products from this gas production over here is a horrendous amount of hydrogen. We need to be able to do something with that, but to come into the uh, research here, none of the power producers that we've opened right now actually can deal with hydrogen. This guy down here, though, can take hydrogen and burn it for power. We're definitely going to be trying to research towards one of those as soon as the power gets going. This is why we need power, right? I think the water in the microbe musher just froze. We've got, we got, we got some ice here for no particular reason. Oh, it's got some germs in it though i wonder where that came from ah, i know where that came from it came from down here right yeah look oh 600 much less much left and zero around most of it okay that's cool that's cool that nearly nearly dealt with our problem Ooh. Let's let's mop this all up, shall we? Shall we? Yeah, the uh, the area in here is getting a little bit. Uh, wh where's the gases? There's the gases. A little bit chlorinated. I, I'm kind of okay with that. I wasn't expecting this to fill it, fill it up all the way to several kilos, but uh, looks like that might be the thing. I don't know. At what pressure does the chlorine stop outgassing? I've been watching Niels Bohr here for a little while now, and I've got to say, he seems like a real backbone member of the colony. Have a look down his errands here. He's doing construction supplies, fabrications. He also does the cooking, makes sure that the, the plants are turning over. He really has a, has a jack-of-all-trades hat on right now. It, it's crazy. It's crazy. He's doing well. He's doing really well. Look, even storing coal. What, what is this? Like from all the way over here. Wow. Wow, 12 grams. 12 grams there. I wonder if we can wait for it to freeze into a block again and then, then dig it. And, and I wonder how small a bit we can get. How small a bit can we get? It really wants to try and defrost it. Well. Yeah, look at that. Okay. It freezes and then refreezes. I, I was fairly sure it was supposed to not do that, but I suppose with the microbe musher at minus four and the tile... Oh, the tiles are minus five. What? I was expecting warmer. I mean, we've got 10 degrees up here. Okay, okay, which means the oxygen's about four. Okay, why is this so much colder? Because we've got contact here? Could be. Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> we'll just mop all that up and maybe dig this down as well. Let's try and uh, clear this all out if we can. These are the things that are going to happen when you're building in an ice biome, but it's uh, would it be better if it didn't. <laughs> Okay, we've got our first bit of water going into the tank. It's actually going to fill up the pipes first. Okay, I'm, I'm about that. I am okay with that. Uh, I'm getting ready. Oh, I haven't put the, the, the startup power in place. Oh, that's a bit of an oversight there. I was about to say, I'm getting ready to fire this up for the first time. We have quite a bit of the infrastructure in place. Can I just do it like this? Something like that. Uh, but I'm going to put a small treadmill up here just to start us. In fact, I'm going to put the battery here and we'll put the treadmill on the other side just to start us off waiting ah oh, sleep weeks as i say we're still currently waiting on the research we're nearly halfway there but i have also noticed that we, we do need some other researchers if you see here there's an atmospheric sensor so we need to get this to be able to automate the the system properly and down here a knot gate which um 
is important in a lot of situations. Okay, I've got Rutherford on the treadwheel to get it going here. We're starting to fill up the area. If I take a look at the gas view, you can see that we're slowly pumping out all the gases underneath and throwing them out over here. Should probably have connected all the gas pipes together. This is just going to fill up here. Uh, but we'll figure that one out in a second. But looking more, the hydrogen is collecting at the top, and that is exactly what we want. Obviously, the next thing we need to do after this episode is to get some power sorted. This, this power situation, very bad. Okay, that's the hydrogen generator coming in. It's what I've been waiting for. Let's have a look. Also, the heavy watt wire. That's going to be useful later. But let's put the hydrogen generator. I can put it down here. Beautiful. If I press F7, we can see the gas... That's not quite what I wanted, but we'll take it anyway because I can do this. Uh, I'm going to snip this one for now because if we just put these mixed gases that we've got here into the hydrogen generator, trouble would be abound. So we're going to try and not do that. First, we're just going to vent up. Let's not expose all those wires, shall we? Uh, I wonder if I can big, uh, build through there. But as I was saying, I've got to, gone and run the gas vent out to a vent, the gas pipe, sorry, out to a vent so that we can get rid of all these nasty gases that are hiding around in here. And hopefully when it's clear... What is this? No. <laughs> That's going to be really hard to get out of there. <laughs> like, really hard. To... Maybe we can melt it and everything will be okay. This is going to get warm in here, right? Uh, or I could have just left the door open. Okay, did we lose some gas? We lost a little bit of gas, but it wasn't too much. Wrong, wrong button. Eh, I think I'm more worried about the polluted oxygen that went in there. Anyway, let's get someone, anybody, on that pump. And let's see... Uh, on that um, hamster wheel, sorry. And let's see if we can't clear the gases out of here. I want to get rid of all the oxygen. As soon as all the auction's gone will probably be good okay stop stop the game stop the game uh i'm going oh no let's let that run just one more uh we're gonna grab a pipe go up that way and we're gonna grab the snips and go that way and we're gonna put our first bit of hydrogen in the hydrogen generator look at that it's gonna gonna help that what's going on here how have we how have we taken damage from the wire oh i see the problem stop Shall we do some maths quick? I think we shall. Two, four, six, eight, plus the bunch of 50, shall we say, is already a thousand. This wire can only take a thousand watts. Oh no, I'm not using the heavy watt wire. We might have to wait for some research again. This one, low resistance conductors. This uh, conductive wire here can take 2,000 watts. Uh, first, to deal with this, I'm, I'm really tempted to go two power systems with a transformer in between. But no, I'm just, I'm just gonna wait, I'm just gonna wait. There's a lot of that in this playthrough. That's why we're at uh, day one, two, three already. Well, the filtering's working really well, like really well. We need to keep an eye on it because sometimes it can go wrong. <laughs> But if you're desperate for oxygen as I was, this, this is a workable system. We've got the hydrogen being turned into power to power the system. We are actually wasting a little bit of system. If we had a smart battery here hooked up to the hydrogen generator, we could probably throttle the whole thing. In fact, I am going to get my research up together to be able to do that. Oh yeah, look at this, beautiful. I don't even know where, there, there's the smart battery. Ah, oh, well, we'll do that afterwards, right? Wow, do we do that afterwards or do I grab the atmospheric stuff? I know it's around here somewhere. This is also only one more reason. I know this looks like we want to get this one first, but follow the yellow lines, it, come back, it comes back to there. So I, I, I don't know, maybe this one next? Whilst we wait for the research to roll in and for this to warm up, it it, it killed Look what it did to the flower. I'm so, so sad. Uh, this will, go, will eventually get up to about 20 or 30 degrees. If we leave it, it will overheat. But I think with this top little, uh, little section here, it's probably not going to do that. But I have some good news and I have some bad. Well, that was the bad news. Let's look at the good news. Oxygen not included. Distribute 1,000 kilograms of oxygen using gas vents. Okay, cool. I mean, I did that. that that's great. That's great. I mean, the real bad news is that a few few uh, cycles went past when uh, Franklin over here wasn't wasn't doing any of the charging up here. It's just going up there, there, and over here. We we really need to sort out the power, but that's that's next episode. Oh, I also opened up a new vent for the water down to this side water tank here, just to just to let all these liquids drain out. I also cleared out this area here to try and keep the liquids off this tile because warming this tile up is not easy when it's covered in ice. I've observed a little bit of a problem here that's caused me to completely change my uh, my research track like immediately, immediately. We were doing conductive wire, wherever it's gone, 
conductor. Look at look how close we were. But no, that's no good. I I need to stop this overflow. Look at that, 150 grams. That that could end up with this oxygen pushing up and over. Look, we we got we got like two kilograms here. That's that's bad. I mean, do I do I just quickly snip the wire? I th I think I'm going to snip the wire for a second and let these guys just settle out. Whilst we're watching duplicates run around here and tidy up the base, I would like to take this moment right here to thank every single one of my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you'll see a list of names. A list of names of people who've taken the time out of their day and the money out of their digital wallets to come along and make sure this channel continues existing. Without these people's help, I would find it incredibly difficult to justify the time that I spend on this video game here. Three or four hours every week is a big time investment, and thanks to these people scrolling up the screen right now, I am able to make that commitment. And so if you enjoy these videos as much as I enjoy making these videos, join me right now in thanking these people for making this possible. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, it really is great just to have your support. All the buffer tanks are full and any extra is going in my big liquid tank for eating. This is great. This, this is exactly how I wired the, uh, the system to be set up. Wonderful. All right, that was research complete. Less than a day, a cycle later. That That's pretty good. The Atmos sensor, of course, what we're after here. I have asked for people to turn more copper into, well, copper ore into copper, so that we can get some wiring going. But now we need to try and put down some things here. I want to have an atmospheric sensor from here and here. Okay, this first one is to probably power all of these pumps, to help tell these pumps whether to function or not. Uh, we want that above, yeah, uh, above 1,000. That seems great. If I press Shift F2, brings up my nice little overlay here automation wire thank you and then this one will go down to there and we will deal with that in a moment I've just had to clear up a whole bunch of water here and I'm now gonna let Madame Curie go in there and out again hopefully this will get taken in fact I'm gonna put these ones up to let's go construction seven here and let's see if she'll do those first for me oh no we're all we're already melting water this is no good ah Okay, the water got cleared up just in time. I wasn't, I was really wasn't expecting it to go in there. I don't know why, of course I should have. And we'll set this top one to the same. Uh, if it's over a kilogram, please get going. Okay, we need to uh, re-establish the vacuum in here, or at least the segregation of uh, gases in here. Uh, let's grab a pipe, do one of those, and split this. This is a little bit um, magic, right? So there is now uh, an update to this mod that allows you to turn on the... Um, turn on uh, interaction mode that takes a duplicate and makes them want to change it. I, I think that's a great idea. I think we might do that at some point. Okay, with everything now sorted out, let's uh, re- Oh, no, <laughs> that's not the button I wanted to press. Let's reconnect these and see if we're in trouble. Okay, the first thing we need to do, of course, is to try and establish uh, a hydrogen lock here. We do lose some hydrogen to the environment. I wonder, oh, it's all coming up here. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. Uh, of course, whilst we're not pumping hydrogen into the power, there's nothing to keep it running. Hopefully this will get up and running fairly soon. Okay, there we go. Right, we, we, we can stop this. Uh, actually, let that go. Ooh, I've managed to capture one of the little blobs again. That's good because that gives us just a little bit of power to keep it all up and running. And that's just going to keep trickling over until eventually a steady stream gets started. That's, that's the thing that happens occasionally. There we go. Cool. We do have a little bit of overload because all of these are firing up at once. But I think we can live with it. I think we are there. I think another thing I'm going to do is put an atmospheric sensor next to this gas vent here. And then we can run around some more that do this. Uh, this will stop us wasting oxygen, basically. Before we end today, I have a whole bunch of small little optimizations like that to do. Uh, in particular, oh, we're nearly there already. I'd like these. Uh, smart batteries to uh, stop this running when the battery is full then maybe we could run our research off of that research complete whilst I'm putting in some extra lines around here just to get the oxygen flowing a little bit more I'm not sure oh, up up is where we need to put just a little bit more we're doing cocaine down here let's pick uh, somewhere at random I think I'm gonna go here the obvious route of going across over this way, up round, snaking back, and then up this wall here. I, I mean, why why would I go any other route? Ooh, oh, we have some barbecue. I th have have we had a harvest? Did did one of them die? Somehow we grabbed some meat. I I didn't know when I didn't see how that happened, but uh, great, I'm about it. Yes. Wow, we look at Borgo. He is loving life. Oh, that's that's great. I always like to see this. I like to see it almost as much as I like to see the stickers. In fact, I think I like the Barkle streaks just a little bit more than the stickers. 
Okay, we can do it. We can upgrade these batteries. I'm just going to straight rip this one out. We'll, we'll, we'll waste all that power. It'll be fine. We will live with it. Once again, water has done some weird things over here. Okay, rip that one out. Put a new one in its place. Hopefully pretty high on the list. Yeah, number one. That's good. And whilst that's being built, I'm literally just going to drag one of these wires up through the floor to there. Okay, last bits of wire go into place. This smart battery should be sending a signal when we're in between the 95 and 10 here. Uh, it will drain down until it gets to 10, at which point it will turn the generator back on. That's 10%. I don't know why they didn't give us just like the readings here. Like it's, it's always it's always 20. Why, why make us do the maths? Okay, and as we come in on two kilo... No, wait, 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 we've got two point. Now we're going to end up on two. The power fires up again. The hydrogen is being pulled out of the line. Maybe we want to have some more uh, tubing here to keep hold of the hydrogen, but it's kind of okay. We're pumping out everywhere we need to. And what about up here? We're, we're working on it. We're working on it. But with the end of cycle 131, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today has been all about the oxygen production, and indeed, we've managed to get that up and rolling a full four cycles before our hot, polluted oxygen vent kicks up and gets going again. Next time, I will be working on some power. I think our major source of power is going to be maybe a coal generator over... Uh, we'll follow the line through here. We'll build it over this way, and we'll have more ranch farms. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.